Back for another quick video. Uh, just wanted to show off some bits and pieces that I have managed to get in the post from a very lovely company called King Games. Um, they are currently running their Kickstarter for Dunkledorf, which is the king pin of Dunkledorf. And um, in this, they're going to be adding a whole bunch of new sort of old world Warhammer fantasy sort of inspired miniatures. Uh, into their collection, which is already very, very deep indeed. Um, Kickstarter's running right now, and uh, I got a couple of the miniatures, as you can see here, that I just wanted to show off and uh, get in front of you. So, one of the first miniatures that I'm going to show you off show off is the Kingpin himself. So this is uh, Sven, the Kingpin. Absolutely amazing metal casting on these full of detail absolutely beautiful obviously he's missing his head which you can see here but i think you agree even the head is looking superb um, i will have a link down below so that you can go and check out the kickstarter itself but um really awesome uh, collection here most of these miniatures are single piece although a few of them are double piece uh, in parts just for weapons and stuff we also have claudia Schwartz, I think her name is Claudia Schwartz. You can see there, which is sort of like a subordinate of Sven's, his gang. Um, obviously, as I've said, getting very sort of old world Warhammer, Warhammer fantasy role play vibes about these miniatures, which is really cool to see. Um, I've recently been playing Warhammer fantasy role play myself. And so seeing these miniatures has been very awesome because it's kind of given me an idea to use these as player characters and NPCs and all sorts of different things when we get to eventually play the game at the tabletop again rather than over Zoom or something. Uh, we also have this fellow here who is Leonard, or Lenny as he's called, holding a bottle of brew there which is probably Sven's Bitter which comes from uh, Sven the Kingpin. Um, he's got plans to take over all of Dungledorf um, in this particular edition of the Kickstarter. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with that and the storyline they're planning. Um, very cool, awesome background to this game. And um, again, obviously very heavily Warhammer, Old World inspired. Absolutely awesome miniature that could be used as a player character or an NPC, depending on what you wanted to do. Uh, moving on from him, we also have one of my favourites. So this is one of the dwarves for the set. So this is Barrick Kneebreaker, who's been added in. Uh, comes with this different hammer there, you can see. Which just slots into the, the arm there. Come back to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, really good to see a dwarf in the mix. Um, as someone who's playing a dwarf slayer at the moment, I'd love to see a version like this, which is a little bit more um, muscular. muscular. Uh, done as a slayer, uh, I think it would be really awesome without the bandana because I'd love to use him as my sort of character of choice within the game. Um, I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, awesome looking new dwarf there. I've also got this fellow here, which is Arnold Nine Toes. It's a little bit of a bruiser, lost his arm, as you can see there. Uh, carrying a chain and all sorts of things could be used as a pit fighter in your games or a sort of like ganger or something you want to use in your sort of bandit warband something like that you wouldn't have to use these for role-playing games you could also use these for miniatures games as they are you know use them as a skirmishing warband in something maybe play something a little bit like rangers of shadow deep but maybe theme it a little bit more old world rather than sort of dark almost high fantasy also got this lady here, who is another dwarf. So you've got Marek the Shank, as she's known, with her dagger at her side. She also comes with this little cudgel. Uh, let's see if I flip this around in my big fingers. So yeah, she's also got a cudgel as well, that you can use. Looking very awesome indeed. Absolutely love that miniature. Amazing detail going into the hair there that you can see in those looped earrings. Going to be really fun and starting to paint. Uh, just need to make sure that I... Uh, put together a fascinating warband of, of, of particular of miniatures um, to use in my games. Uh, we also have some of their older miniatures as well. So you've got this guy here, which is a little bit of, sort of like a town crier or a doomsayer. A little bit of flash on the side, but that should come off nice and easily with a, uh, a knife or a, a pair of clippers. Another stunning miniature, as you can see, really packed in the details there. 
Um, and it's nice hefty metal as well. I should say all of these miniatures come with bases, but you don't need to see bases. Um, everybody knows what a base looks like. We also have a couple of their additional miniatures that came as part of their Prancing Peacock collection. So these are all designed to sit around tables and stuff, uh, which I'll show you in a little second. Really awesome. We've got a patron there drinking a beer. We've got a wonderful stevedore, maybe a bard perhaps there, writing up something fascinating at his table. Um, I also have this particular character here, just bumping stuff around. I'd say it's quite ad hoc, but I wanted to show these off. And the whole idea of these is it's kind of just a little bit more of a hobby ramble than anything else. Uh, but yeah, really awesome drunk there that you can put. Maybe he's not a drunk. Maybe he's actually been stabbed and he's the victim of a crime. Ba -ba -ba. Add that into your games. It's a bit of narrative. Uh, we also have some sort of incidental pieces. Now I do have the cat as well, but I just want to show off this one. So this is an angry chicken, a battle chicken. Because it actually actually also has this really cool breastplate added onto it. Um, so if you wanted to put together a fighting cock, as it were, <laughs> then you could use these in your games. Uh, maybe it's a strange enemy for your uh, players to bump into as they're um, wandering around the town of Dunkledor. Um In addition to what you see there in terms of miniature form, we also obviously have um, these resin pieces that you'll have noticed to the side. So they do also do these resin packs of terrain, which also came as part of the Prancing Peacock. Um, all available over on King Games. Uh, this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just like what these guys do. Uh, you've got some really awesome chairs there done in resin. Going to be amazing to paint those. We've got some benches that you could use to set up your bar. Got this larger table which obviously your um, your characters could sit at, for example, so you can have one of these guys sitting on one of the chairs, which would be really cool. Love that idea. Move them around as the campaign goes on. You've also got some of these slightly more uh, incidental pieces. So you've got this, which looks like the um, showcase that you'd find at the front of a butcher's, perhaps. Really awesome looking set there. And then, just for the piece de resistance, uh, we also have like... A, all these kind of gubbins and all sorts of things like that that you can paint up individually and drop onto your tables. I love using things like these, especially if you're going to be doing a skirmish game or a role-playing game, uh, because you put these on the tabletop and you make them interactable. So you have them so that the person goes, oh, there's actually a soup over there, or there's a bundle of fruit and flowers and stuff. Um, you add these in and suddenly people are starting to use them in all manner of different ways. But yeah, now you can see my dirty fingers. Um, I'm just going to find the cat as well. <laughs> because why not show off the cat? So yeah, you can hear me scrabbling around in the background there. But there's the lazy cat. You can sit on your, uh, your tavern table. Or maybe on the bar, perhaps. Uh, just sort of minding his own business. Maybe it's the familiar for a witch or something like that that you could add into your games. But yeah. Very cool looking miniature there. I'm just going to pop off for one second and I'll be back. Because obviously a lot of people will be wanting to know about scale. So here is an old Warhammer Citadel Troll Slayer. This is the one that I particularly use for Gunnar uh, in my Warhammer Fantasy Battles games. But here you can see a little bit of an example of scale. Sort of how they match up. So as you can see, very good for existing 28mm miniatures. Let's compare Gunnar here to another dwarf. Practically spot on, as you can see there. But yeah, very awesome stuff there uh, from the folks at um, Dunkeldorf Miniatures. And, well, the folks at King Games for Dunkeldorf Miniatures. Who have done a stunning job on this range. Um, and I cannot wait to get these under the brush, as it were. I'm really looking forward to painting up Sven in particular. Uh, there are also a couple of really fascinating miniatures as part of this collection that I think are going to be really good to use as um, characters uh, for my role-playing group. Um, so one of my players is playing a female witch hunter, and there's a character that is basically him uh, or her, I guess you'd say, um, summed up perfectly. I think a lot of these could also particularly work for the other characters. As I say, if the folks at King Games want to make me a troll slayer, a uh, female swordsman, and a, um, uh, uh, well, a bare-headed wizard with a scythe, 
and, uh, and an elven merchant, then I would be more than happy <laughs> to see those come to life. But uh, yeah, uh, bar me just wish listing stuff for a little, a few more minutes. I think it'd be fun to um, go and check these guys out. Make sure to check it out the Kickstarter in the comments down below. Uh, it's the Kingpin of Dungledorf. Um, dive in, check out that video. Let me know what you think. And um, yes, are you eager to pick these up and use them in your Warhammer Fantasy games? Or maybe just your general skirmish fantasy adventures. Perfect for things like Frostgrave, for example, as well. So yeah, uh, I'm going to move on and uh, I'll see you guys soon.